everybody, Steve here from Never Too Late to Travel. Well, as you can see from the video, I'm uh, back down here by the seaside and uh, currently at uh, May Pim Beach, which is just the other side of Rayong. Now, the reason that I've come down here this weekend is that the Columbia Trail, which is uh, a, a very well and respected uh, trail run, is taking place tomorrow and uh, the wife is uh, competing in the uh, 26 kilometer uh, class so come down here to uh, support her doing that and uh, for a change we've decided not to stop in a hotel uh, purely because uh, we have a very very early start in the morning so what the wife's decided to do is that she's booked us a room at uh, the grand blue condominium which is part of the Grand Blue Hotel Group. Cost is about 1,200 uh, baht per night, and we booked two of them. It's exceptionally clean and tidy. It's got all the utensils that we uh, will possibly need to do some self-catering. And uh, before we leave, around about four o'clock in the morning, uh, we can make ourselves some breakfast. Situated, uh, as I said, in the uh, grounds of the Grand Blue Hotel, got a fantastic view of the whole of the swimming pool, uh, which uh, is immediately in front of us, uh, out and uh, overlooking the uh, on-site restaurant. So now, I'll just come out to uh, have a look at the uh, beach road. Now, just one warning, guys: this place is a very, very quiet and sedate place. There is not a lot happening during the daytime and there's certainly no uh, bustling and uh, juggling nightlife. Uh, there, there is nothing like that around this immediate area. However, there is a, quite a large 7-Eleven. There are some massage shops, souvenir shop and uh, a couple of small restaurants. But what we intend to do, guys, is to uh, drive out later on, uh, drive about a kilometre and a half um, straight ahead of us here and uh, we've already checked out there's quite a few number of uh, restaurants and uh, other places that we can visit uh, later on tonight obviously we'll also uh, call in at 7-eleven and get some stuff for breakfast and uh, that's about all that we'll actually do today uh, as i say early start in the morning so the wife will probably go to sleep early tonight and i'll have a, a few beers uh, on the balcony I will show you the room, uh, as I say, fourth floor, nice view, and uh, even see the beach from there, so it's uh, quite a change from just stopping into uh, an ordinary hotel room. Across the road there, probably just missed it, is the uh, quite a large 7-Eleven, that's only a couple of minutes walk from the condo, so very, very con convenient, uh, especially if you want to buy ice for your drinks. Nice sandy beach, but I have seen some warning flags out uh, posted in various areas. The sea is very, very choppy, and uh, I think the flags give you a fair indication that it's not really safe to swim today. I haven't seen any other uh, foreign tourists uh, around in this immediate area. Uh, the people that you will see about up and down the beach road uh, eating and drinking are the uh, local Thais. And I would presume it's one of their spots that they come down and uh, just chill out at the weekend or if they've got any time from work. I believe that uh, this is the last Columbia Trail that they're actually doing in this area. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, there has uh, been some significance uh, played uh, on the advertising that uh, I think this is actually the one, the last one. I don't know, my wife's going to prosper on a 26 uh, kilometre run. She's done no real training. Uh, so it's probably going to be a very, very long walk and uh, a thousand of uh, picture taking en route. But I'm here to support her, whatever she wants to do. I'm uh, right behind her. I won't be running, but uh, I'll be with her in spirit, as to speak.
few people taking photographs as you can see out to see there are a few little islands dotted about do make a nice backdrop for a few pictures if you're into that kind of thing Apparently uh, from our condo, uh, when it gets dark, they light the pool up, which is uh, obviously uh, a deep blue, which goes to the theme of the Grand Blue uh, Hotel. And uh, I'm hoping to get you some uh, video of that later. But guys, as you know, the GoPro is not the best camera for taking night uh, shots. Uh, I, I, I've never really got any uh, really good results in the evening from it unless the place has been exceptionally well lit and uh, unfortunately this won't be. If you keep an eye on the road guys you'll see the amount of traffic, uh, traffic that actually goes up and down is very minimal. Just across the road there you may be uh, might catch it again uh, is a quite a large Amazon cafe and uh, they have a nice selection of uh, cakes and uh, biscuits in there uh, more than I would normally see in uh, other Amazon so it might be a place that you can go and have your coffee in the morning if you're not uh, having breakfast or you want to uh, lay in at the hotel To be honest guys, I haven't really looked on the internet to see what uh, other tourist uh, places are around in this immediate area. But uh, hopefully later on tonight there may be some places I can visit uh, later on tomorrow and uh, maybe make uh, a more uh, interesting video of some tourist uh, spots for you. This uh, big building here on the left hand side uh, it has a nice little restaurant underneath and I believe uh, above this restaurant here, which is not open at the moment, uh, is uh, self uh, catering uh, serviced apartments, I believe. And uh, coming up here, uh, you can just see the start of the uh, blue, uh, Grand Blue uh, Hotel. And uh, just above the wall there with the blue glass, that was the, uh, one of the fitness rooms. This uh, building here to the right will turn in in a minute. That's the uh, on-site uh, restaurant and I believe that's the place that the guests from the hotel actually come and have breakfast. But uh, we won't be there in the morning. We'll have uh, gone off to the races very, very early. I will take you for a walk around the uh, grounds here and uh, the uh, perimeter of the hotel because there are uh, quite a few little shops that might be of interest to you. When we checked in this morning there was uh, quite a few people knocking around and a few people in the pool but uh, Sadly, they all appear to have uh, gone uh, back to Bangkok or to wherever the places that they uh, reside. So the area is very quiet. Uh, I've only seen uh, a couple of young ladies with their children and that's about it. Directly in front of us with all the blue glass there, that is uh, where we're staying, which is the uh, Grand Blue Condominium. And as I previously said, we're on the fourth floor with a nice view over this pool to the restaurant. Just here to the left hand side, uh, panning onto it, is the uh, Grand Blue Hotel uh, accommodation itself. Back there of the uh, service apartments I was telling you about as we were walking to this place. Mm -hmm. 
I will take you for a walk around the uh, accommodation that we've uh, booked and uh, I'll also show you uh, where to uh, pick up the keys if you ever feel like uh, booking this place in the future. Mother with a small daughter there. Uh, I think she's probably diving trying to find Australia. Uh, seems a little bit strange to me, but there you go. I'll show you the uh, entrance uh, area to the uh, condominium. The security hut is that little uh, white building directly in front of us. And there we have it, the Grand Blue Condominium. Plenty of spaces to park guys, don't worry about that. And uh, this is the other side of the uh, Grand Blue Hotel on this little soy. And if you do book this place, you can uh, pick up your keys uh, from this uh, service shop. Next door to it, nice little uh, foreign domed uh, souvenir shop. And a gentleman kindly uh, came out and gave me a brochure of all the little uh, boat tours and other activities that they run from uh, uh, his establishment. Uh, quite a few interesting places you can actually go and visit, but uh, I have been to most of them and I haven't had any time to go there anywhere this weekend. But very nice for him to come out, say hello and uh, give us a brochure. So uh, I hope it does attract some uh, customers for him. few other little shops where you can buy deck chairs or rent deck chairs, uh, a few uh, massage parlours and uh, a few places that the uh, ladies can do their nails. And uh, just here on the right hand side, might be quite important to you, is a, a very small pharmacy and uh, next door to that uh, is another shop where you can actually get your laundry done. Within the uh, condominium that we've rented uh, there is no washing machine, not, not that I need one but uh, I'll just tell you that there is no washing machine there. This used to be a well-known bakery apparently in the area, but uh, now seems to have uh, closed down. Maybe because the area is so quiet, there's not the uh, passing trade. So obviously these uh, buildings are run by uh, Maypin Property and uh, that concludes a little walk up the soy uh, on the other side of the uh, Grand Blue Hotel. So leading on now this is the uh, apartment uh, in the condo that we've got one bedroom place exceptionally clean and tidy and uh, all the uh, amenities that uh, we will certainly need for the weekend nice uh, bathroom and uh, toilet area air condition both in the living room and the bedroom everything you need microwave coffee maker kettle all the uh, knives, forks, spoons, plates, cups, 
you name it, this lady has actually put it in there. Sorry about the uh, lights kind of dimming on and off, the uh, curtains are <laughs> blowing around a little bit and uh, it cuts off the lights. But they are microwave, nice uh, shelves for putting stuff. Also above the uh, sink we've got more shelf area. Plenty of knives, forks, spoons, uh, frying pans, egg slice, you name it, it's there guys. Double hob for cooking, induction. All the plates and bowls that you'll need for your breakfast are readily available. If I wanted a quiet weekend away, I'd certainly come back here. The place is immaculately clean. Uh, but for me personally, uh, it's a little bit quiet. And as I said, the only reason I've come here is to support the wife on the running. Normally I wouldn't book uh, a place that is as quiet as this. Plenty of uh, nice seating areas, a little settee to sit on and a table to uh, eat your meals. It has got uh, television and uh, a satellite but it's uh, all for Thai channels I believe. And nice views from the uh, living area and uh, from the bedroom out to uh, the pool. So we'll go out onto the uh, balcony shortly and uh, I'll show you a better view of the uh, pool and uh, the Grand Blue Hotel from uh, a higher level. Oh, a couple of more people in the pool now, but a nice little balcony area to uh, sit in and uh, because it's got a glass uh, balcony uh, you can see everything that's going on around you. And the uh, accommodation block there of the Grand Blue Hotel itself. I think the price for that is, uh, I don't know whether I said it before, it's about 1,005, 1,600 per night, including breakfast. So that's it uh, basically, a quick tour of the beach area and of the uh, Grand Blue condominium and a few shots there of how the pool lights up at night. Absolutely a fantastic area. So with that guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments as you seem fit and uh, hopefully uh, I'll catch you on the next one. So we'll leave this video to play out and uh, I'll see you again. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.